Hi guys, we're back with another episode of Adventures in Armadillos, because this morning when I came home from running, there was an armadillo over by the gate up there, which Andre chased it away. I mean, luckily, it probably went right down in the ditch. Anyway, you guys, that's Layla's back there doing that. I don't know. Anyway, so what I want to talk about today, you guys, is, you know, kind of why we have to use food. You know, say that we've got, this is your dog. It's not really good. So this is the dog's food drive. Yeah, that's a little chart. So it's right here. What we want to say to ourselves is we need to build it up to here to be able to get the best. And I'm going to tell you what happens. If, if you take, if this is the dog's drive, and you say your method is, you know, when we're building it up, this dog, this is this is the rate I'm building this dog up to, you know, and I'm probably to right here. I, I'm probably going to build it up to here, and, and on this dog, uh, high food drive level is going to equal level, ouch. That means it's grabbing the treat from your hand. <laughs> anyway, so if you're using no food, and you're using stimulus, and you have a dog with no retrieve drive, and that's how these retriever guys get away with it, not using food, is, is, it's, it's kind of like if there's a gun-shy dog, you can fix it if it has enough drive, so, and I'm not saying they're doing it wrong, but they don't use food, but if you're not using food, and you're using stimulus only to communicate, I mean, what you're doing is you're basically lowering, lowering, lowering the drive until you have, and down here is dogs that are shut down, that won't eat at all. You know, this is, I, I would say, you know, if, if we just made this line right here, normal dogs that have to eat to survive, a lot of labs and stuff are more higher food drive anyway. But, I mean, honestly, if we just said every dog is on this line right here, again, job one needs to be to build our food drive up to here. And, and I'm going to tell you why. Once you've got a dog that's shut down, the more pressure you put on it, the more it shuts down. Once you've got a dog that's in food drive, and honestly, it, this, it sounds hard to believe, but I, I even had talked to Godfrey about this. You know, you, you, you may be able to push them down a little bit, and some dogs need to do that. You know, I've, I've had dogs that we had to... And that dog, Buck, I always talk about that dog. Nothing I did could even put enough pressure on the dog to even reduce the food drive. I tried to get that dog by putting so much pressure on that it wouldn't even eat, so it'd be, it wouldn't do that. Uh, but yes, so once we are doing linking, really, because we've linked the, the pager and the food all through here, honestly, the Nick then increases the food drive. I, I know it's it's hard to believe, but... Helen will tell you, Kurt will tell you, Godfrey seen it too. So that's what you want to do. Here, if you're doing that and you're doing that, honestly, you're just shutting the dog deeper and deeper down. Once a dog is down here, and if somebody said, well, this dog is so shut down, it won't eat treats, I would say to them, then start, swim for the surface. You know what I mean? Swim, swim, swim. And if you're any kind of trainer, you know, e even if it took two weeks to build up the food drive... It, two weeks to do nothing but build up the food drive. So what? You're then you're at least starting with an animal that's going to respond the way you want it to with the collar. These dogs down here that are shut down that won't eat. You know, and there's a lot of dogs that just again will eat for food, but the people have done things like make them wait for the treat. You know, they focused on you know squashing the food drive by instead of encouraging it like this dog. You know, it's it's going to be... She's already lunging for the treat with an open mouth. There's its mouth. There's my hand. Uh, that's what you want. It's Shark Week here. It's Shark Week everywhere. You know, so that's what you want, where the dog is focused just on that. There is a difference between accepting the treat. Anyway, you guys, I hope that makes sense. But that's what you've got to say. If every dog is here, you're going to evaluate a dog that first comes in, and you're going to ask the owner, does it like, you know... I mean, or, you know, if it's your own dog, you have to say, how, you know, does it like the treats? And we had that one dog, Gemma. Oh, she loved the treats. 
and then this girl had these treats. This dog would not eat these treats. I, in fact, I, she had to send me money to go get chicken for the dog. And I did get it eating, but it was just shut down. It was shut down. Its food drive was shut down. It wasn't that it wasn't a pig. It just it, it was shut down. But, you know, she had rescued it, so we didn't really know what happened. Anyway, we need level ouch with this dog, which means it's kind of like Mavis where it's kind of grabbing the treats. You know, then I could push it back down from there if I needed to. And you would want to do that with a lot of dogs where now you're pushing it back down. But that's way later. Way later. Bye, guys.